Don't you just love all of those little metal charms? But if you can't find one that you really want, how about just making your own? It's a snap. Jen Cushman, mixed media artist, author, crafty woman all the way around. Uh, one of my one of my favorite crafters um, is going to show us how to make our own. Not only charms can you wear them, but you're also using them for some little Anything. You know, embellishing and decoration. Yes, yeah, scrapbooks, home decor, cards, anything, jewelry. You can just turn these into absolutely anything. They're just cute. I love that. Let's take a look at what we're talking about here. First of all, I love, love some of the jewelry that you created here. And I, I don't know if you've um, seen Jen here before or not, but she she not only makes the, the metal charms, but she showed us how to make um, the ice resin uh, charms, which is adding kind of like a like an acrylic or? It's a resin. It's so a you resin. can put anything okay. in an open back bezel, and it's fabulous. An open back bezel. I love mm -hmm. it. Let's take a look at some of the, the stuff that she's created. This is is absolutely gorgeous and I want you all to know that it how how easy it is to do um, so Jen when we start something like this um, what is it what is the couple of the let's just say tools and things that we the basics that we need to get started well you know as a metalsmith uh, normally you would have to use a jeweler saw and cut all this stuff out Ooh. but there is now <laughs> I'm these, out. I know <laughs> these pre-made little charms that you buy them like this you pop them out of the package and they are the basis for making some really cute little charms so, so. they're already done they're already cut somebody's mm -hmm. done all the legwork for you already yep. okay they come in a little package like this yep okay how many different designs are there uh, six or eight I don't know I'm not quite sure I know Know there's all kinds of different little shapes on there, but they're really, really cute. And you just start with those, and then you can use them as is. But that's a little boring. That's not yeah. very crafty. <laughs> you got to do something to them. Absolutely. So, what you did know? you do? Well, what we, you know, there's a. You can use die cutting machines and a texture plate, or if you don't have this fancy stuff at home, you mm -hmm. can go grab a hammer <laughs> and you can just do what I did. And you can start with this little charm blank, and you can take it and you can just hammer it out, and you create a hand hammered texture there. Oh my gosh! What did you? So, just that a is hammer, the, just the back of a ball peen hammer. You just take it and hammer it out, and you can hammer it on. I, um, I don't oh, want to ruin your tool, I'm but it's sorry. basically done. It's did. Okay. I didn't bring the hammer. That's so, okay. yeah, you just take the hammer and hammer that out. Okay, so just so I get it here, in the package, you get the backing mm -hmm. and the top piece. And, and get the top piece. You use them together. You do. You sandwich okay. them together. You can use them separately, but that gives them a little bit more strength. Okay. So then you pull out the little top piece, and then you just take a ball peen hammer, and you just go ahead and hammer that out. Mm -hmm. And then the the next thing that I did is I took some acrylic paint, mm -hmm. just craft store paint, mm -hmm. and went ahead and painted up that little charm because I want to give it some color. Next thing I do is rub some of that color off. <laughs> Perfect. That's a true crafter. Exactly. You paint it and then you, you take paint it off. It and then you take it away. Well, you know, it's got to be a little shabby. It can't look like it's just out of the box. Yeah, yeah. So then the next step is to take a little bit of paper, put that behind there. Oh, I love and that. so that's just, but you can put a picture of your kids in there. You can put a picture of your dog in there. Whatever you can personalize you this, whatever you want. And then. How did you attach the, um, the paper to the metal? Just glue. Take okay. white glue and just glued it right on the back there and attached it. Okay. And then the next little step is that I'm actually taking and sandwiching those pieces together again with some glue. Okay. And then this is my one tool I did bring. This is just a punch that is really fabulous. And then you can just take it and you can punch out the little eye there. And then there's this adorable little brad with a little bit of rhinestone yeah, brad I want to for share bling. Every, I want to show everybody what a brad is. It's just one, it looks like the top of an, uh, an envelope, you know, those, those business envelopes and it splits open. But you can get different brads that have different blings and embellishments on top of them. So you're going to use this as his eye. I'm going to use that in his eye. And okay. it's also a cold connection in metalworking and jewelry, a cold connection. A cold connection, a that's cold a technical term. A cold connection is a technical term. It's making jewelry without having to use solder or heat. So that's in my book. And um, there you go. Now he's got that cute little eye and he's mm -hmm. going to hold together. And then at the end, in order to make sure that it doesn't rub off if I'm going to wear it as jewelry, mm -hmm. I need to seal it with something. And of course, I use ice resin to seal it. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to put this on a, a card or a scrapbook, you don't need to go the extra step of sealing. Only if you're going to wear it. If you're going to wear it, because okay. it will it will end up uh, rubbing off. Did, so. you, did you make your necklace? I did make oh, my necklace. My and gosh. that is just taking the hammer and cutting out a piece of metal oh, and necklace. hammering it out. Oh my gosh, yeah. that is a stunning piece of, I mean, you would pay a lot of money for that, Jen, and any, 
department store or anything like that. Um, no, besides jewelry and, and, and whatnot, just this adorable, I mean, these amazing pieces of art that you have created. I mean, this is, and this isn't as hard as it looks. It's not, I know, look at this. you know, like Michael Jordan, I try to make it look difficult, but it's really pretty easy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this, it's a little dress design. Mm -hmm. How cute is that? Now you can use that to embellish little things with, like you can lay it, you know, on a little I, side I table. I actually have it in my guest room and I hang it from the light as a light pool, my lamp pool for my fans. Oh my gosh. you know how ugly the fans are in I Arizona. I see that we now. have to have them. I see that now, so, I'm pulling it off. <gasps> so I hang it from the fan and it adds that little extra touch in the bedroom. Oh. Oh my gosh, I love mm -hmm. that. And this is adorable. Once again, it's a simple little piece of, of wood. Now, this you can buy, you know, I just bought that at out. the craft store. Yeah, and then you just painted it. Again, scrape some of it off. Scrape some of it off. <laughs> and you just, these were simple yeah. embellishments that you add. Now, see the texture that we have right here on these little houses? That's what you ran through, what you called a texture plate. I did. That's a texture plate, and that's a machine, and that gives that extra extra little oomph to it so it looks like a pattern. Okay. Now, one of the things I want to point out here, this is your brand new book. It is my brand new Congratulations. book. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm and so where, excited. Where can people pick up this book? Oh, this one's everywhere. Amazon, you can get it online. I have it on my website if you want a signed copy, but it is everywhere, baby. You can pick it up. <laughs> I have been everywhere. <laughs> I love this. As mm -hmm. a matter of fact, I don't know, I, before we go, uh, look at this. Super cute earrings that you can learn how to make from this book and how easy it is. I mean, you've just seen the process. It's very, very easy to do and you can create some of your own works of art. Jen Cushman, thank you so much. Thank you. It's, I had so much fun. Well, you know what? I know she was up very late last night making a lot of things, so we yeah, appreciate it. I do. So, but it was fun, you know, <laughs> crafting, uh, fast crafting. All night long, girl. <laughs> That's what we do. Exactly. All night you know? long. Got to right. rock the samples. <laughs> we do. We have all the information on our website, sonoranliving.com.